here to praise you. Lift our hearts and sing. We are here to give you the best that we can bring. And it is a A child is born for us, and a son is given to us, and his name will be called Messenger of Great Counsel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, this is the last day of the year 2020. As we close this year, be thankful for the Lord, for the, for the things that happened in our lives, especially this year. Many of the things happened in our lives this year was uh, least expected. Many unwanted things happened in our lives, though we think in that way. In the, in the great mind of God, he has a plan for everything. And a lot of good things happened through these unwanted things, uh, troubled days. Calling to mind all the graces, all the gifts that we got in our lives, especially this year. Be thankful for the Lord. Calling to mind all the sins and offenses that we have committed against his providence, against his love. Let us feel sorry for our sins. <coughs> Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us recite Gloria. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you. We bless, bless you. We adore, we adore you. We glorify you. We give, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father, you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and the fulfillment of all religion. Grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might be plain that they are all not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you, you all know. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and know that no lie is of the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. The land and all its beer rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. Let the, Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice, he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In many and, var and various ways, God spoke of old to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of human race, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming to the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. And the word became, became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he exit, existed before me. From this from his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son of God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, as we are in the last day of this year, we heard two readings from John, from the letter and from the gospel. Interpreters say that they are still interpreting John's gospel, especially the first chapter. And in the first chapter, John contains the whole theology mixed with the Greek philosophy and the Judean concept. Only one thing 
stand out from this from this chapter first that the world came from God and the world should go back to God as we human beings who are living in this world are called to go back to God because we came from God if we have thought if the if we have that thought in mind the things that we do the thoughts that we think and the words that we speak will be all focused to the Lord because we are his words as we celebrate the last day of this year let us be thankful for this great calling of our lives that we have come from God and we are living with God and we are going back to God John the Baptist testified this fact through his life and he was following that light throughout his life my dear friends as we follow this light let us be thankful and ever grateful for our lives professing our faith with the church let us recite the nicene creed i believe in one god the father, the father almighty, almighty maker, maker of heaven, heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the, the only begotten, begotten son of god, god born of the father before all ages god from god light, light from light true god, god from true god begotten not, not made consubstantial with the father, with the father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism of the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father for on the feast of his of this all filled mystery though invisible in his own divine nature he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages he has begun to exist in time so that rising up in himself all that was cast down he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom and so with all the angels and hosts we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory o son in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord o son in the highest o son in the highest lord thank you for giving us this world to live in as we have come from you let our actions thoughts and words be always oriented towards you you are holy indeed o lord and all creation rightly gives you praise make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples say Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of our faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our dear pope all our bishops and all the clergy around the world Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with Mary with saint joseph with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence the prayer Jesus taught all of us to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world and is the word. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, we pray for the healing and full recovery of those affected by COVID-19. We pray for God's comfort for those who have lost loved ones to this pandemic. Protect the doctors and healthcare professionals on the front lines and guide scientists and researchers to develop treatments, cures and vaccines. Guide with your wisdom all governments and health authorities to work for the welfare of the people. Father God, we submit our lives, our families, our projects and our futures to you. We pray that through the precious and holy blood of the Lamb shed on the cross, this pandemic may stop. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. Before the final blessing, spend some time in silence thanking the Lord for this year. I remember at least two of the things that have happened in our lives, which influenced our lives and which inspired our lives. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future 
the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go with a thankful heart. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O Sacrament most holy. O Sacrament Divine All praise and all thanksgiving Be every moment thine O Sacrament Most Holy O Sacrament Divine Praise and all thanksgiving.